Now more and more of us, particularly as busy presenters, are doing our shopping, our supermarket shopping online. It was up by a third last year. Despite that, it's still just really a small industry and the internet retailer Ocado is a fast growing part of that industry. Well, I went to meet its founders to talk about the industry and indeed give a hand to one of the company's delivery men. This huge warehouse is home of one of the most famous internet food retailers in Britain, Ocado. It's an online supermarket delivering directly to your door and it takes its supplies from the supermarket chain Waitrose. Meet Jonathan Raymond and Tim Steiner. Together with their business partner Jason Gissing, they set up Ocado six years ago after careers as merchant bankers. But why would you want to enter a market already occupied by such big beasts as Tesco's and Sainsbury's? I mean, it's, it's, definitely, it's definitely fun to, to actually work on something that you enjoy as a customer as well as the person who's actually doing it. So, you know, it's very different to, to working in an investment bank where the numbers are, are, are enormous. And you, don't, you, know, you don't feel like you have a lot of involvement with what you're achieving. But actually, when, you know, at Ocado, I, I'm a, I, I like being an Ocado customer and therefore it's fun to try and provide the service as well. But with around 12,000 orders every day, it's not all fun. So just how does it all work? Once, once your order has arrived in the warehouse, it, it, it's in this enormous computer. Either the computer could be used for picking Ocado grocery orders, or it could forecast weather. I mean, an enormous computer. And what it's going to do is it's going to figure out more than half a million individual items of grocery that we'd be processing on that day. It sends a plastic box to the right area for your, for your um, order. And the computer decides where the items go in the box to make sure that your order doesn't get squashed so we don't put the eggs at the bottom and the Evian on top to make sure that the order is basically packed in a nice way to make sure nothing gets damaged. And it routes around 10 miles of conveyor belt till it comes out at the, at the end and we load it into, into trucks. And the trucks either go directly from Hatfield to, to the north of London or we route them to, to four different distribution points where um, our customer service team members, the drivers, collect the, uh, the truck and they drive um, the, the small Ocado delivery vans straight to the customer. The idea is simple enough, but Ocado's latest pricing strategy has led to something of a war of words with the biggest of its competitors, Tesco. The row has come about because Jonathan and Tim promised to match Tesco's prices on the items both companies sell. But Tesco now claim that Ocado hasn't lived up to its promise. We're very committed to doing this and clearly Tesco's don't like it and they want to throw some you know, mud in the water to suggest that it's not right. But I can assure you that every single week we're going onto their sites, we're taking down all their pricing and we're matching it to all the lines that we can find that they sell. And this is where all that food ends up in one of these pallets ready for delivery. I'm with Andy, who's, Hi. I was going to say you're helping me, but I'm sort of meant to be helping you. Yes. Uh, anyway, blind leading the blind. Is this a, is this a regular customer? It's a regular Ricardo customer, but right. this is the first time I've actually delivered to this house. Um, we don't do the same deliveries twice normally. It's a different route every day. Right. Different customers. Why do they do that? Keeps us on our toes, right. stops us getting too familiar with the customers. Okay. Well, so we don't like that, too familiar with the customers. And then um, we don't get, um, you know, a bit two slap dash and always stay professional. All right. Shall I ring the door? Do, Do we, we know her name? Uh, Miss Corey. Mrs. Corey. Mrs. Corey. Yep. she in? <laughs> She's having a cup of tea. Hello? Mrs. Corey? Hi. Hi, I'm Adam with uh, Andy and we got your Ocado stuff. Great. Shall we bring it in or what would you like? Yes, Into the kitchen? Yes, please. I've spent 30 years doing communications. A lot of it sitting in a computer room behind a laptop, and it's just nice not to have to do that anymore. It, it's not been. There is. Uh, you pass by. There we are. Yeah. Um, got to be nice. Well, could yes. be a potential customer. Exactly so. You saw us being nice to him. He might uh, buy did, something from the car day. You never I've, know. I've done something similar myself. I was. Sometimes you get put on standby, and I was parked down SW6, and there's a lady got out of her car. I saw she was a bit infirm and she'd been shopping at one of the competitors, but we won't go into right. that. And so I just, I was waiting, so I just helped her out in the house we were shopping. So, potential customer. Potential customer, quite right. All right, well, thank you very much indeed. I know you've got, you, you've got a full uh, house. Yeah. You do have a full house of yes. loads of other food to get to, so I won't keep you anyway. Nice seeing you, Andy. You too, Take thank care. you very much. Thanks very much. Bye. Manual labour doesn't come easy to you. Does it <laughs> it really? does, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> We've had